Hello Info Person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about this right here, which happens to be a tremendously huge cloud of gas located in a relatively distant part of the universe. A cloud of what seems to be extremely hot and very massive gas, something that the scientists have never seen before, and something that the scientists are currently referring to as the intracluster medium clumping. And interestingly enough, in terms of size, it's even larger than the Milky Way galaxy with the total mass of about 10 billion masses of the Sun, which is really massive. It's sort of comparable to some of the smaller galaxies orbiting around the Milky Way. And so I wanted to talk about this because this is a very strange discovery and it's never really been seen before. But first of all, where exactly is this located? Well, all of this is part of this relatively large and really well-known cluster known as the Leo Cluster. Here's what the actual image of this cluster looks like and it's also sometimes referred to as the Abel 1367. It's about 330 million light years away from us and there are roughly around 70 major galaxies in this cluster. With the galaxy known as NGC 3842 that you see right here being essentially the brightest member of the entire cluster. Which by the way we can jump to right here in Space Engine and it's located somewhere in this region right there. Now interestingly this cluster is right next to the famous Coma Cluster. Coma Cluster which you can see right here is much larger and much more massive but it also seems to be much much older. But they are next to each other and together they form what's known as the Coma Supercluster. Essentially this really really large structure that also happens to be a part of a much larger structure. The structure you see right here known as CFA2 Great Wall. And to try to imagine where all of this is located compared to I guess us, with us being right there in the middle, the Coma Supercluster along with the Leo Cluster are essentially in this region. And what makes Leo Cluster somewhat unusual is that most galaxies here are spiral galaxies. They're actually much younger than comparable galaxies in the universe. You can sort of uh, make out their shapes here and there. And for the most part, they do seem to be some of the younger galaxies we've examined so far. And this galaxy right here that I previously mentioned also happens to have one of the biggest black holes in the center, roughly around 10 billion masses of the sun. But overall, this region is also extremely active and there's a lot of stuff going on. There are a lot of collisions, there are a lot of nearby passes between galaxies, or at least there have been in the past. And as a result, these galaxies do not really form as many stars as some of the other galaxies in the vicinity. On top of this, because of all of these interactions and because of all of these collisions, some of the gas here occasionally gets stripped from the galaxies and to some extent occasionally ends up producing something that you're about to see in this galaxy. This is a simulation produced by NASA and by ESA. So this is caused by REM pressure when the galaxy flies through a lot of different hot gas that's already in the intergalactic space. And it creates these very unusual patterns that you see right here. But when there's a lot of activity and when there's a lot of REM pressure involved, this whole gas right here can actually escape a galaxy and to some extent permanently escape from a galaxy and create its own structure by itself. Now this has been sort of predicted and theorized and it's also been seen to some smaller extent but the scientists have never seen something so large. As large as this particular cloud that was discovered relatively recently. So this right here is a few hundred thousand light years across. This is bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. And the images from this gas cloud were received by several different telescopes including the XMM which uh, looks at things in X-ray and also some of the other telescopes that looked at this in the optical light. Which of course implies that this is definitely a structure that's there. It's a structure that's extremely large and extremely massive. With the temperatures of gas here being about 10,000 Kelvin up to about 10 million Kelvin in some of the more extreme regions of this cloud. But what's particularly unusual about this discovery is the location. The cloud itself seems to be really far away from any major galaxy and seems to be in the no galactic zone. Or basically even if it was formed this way, it's not clear what galaxy it came from or what exactly was responsible for its formation. Or essentially what I'm trying to say here is we don't really know how this was formed. Nobody has a good explanation for where it came from or what exactly created this. Which also of course makes this one of the more unique features and more unique structures discovered in the last few years. Now it's of course assumed that it came from a large galaxy and really massive galaxy nearby. It's just not really clear which one and exactly what caused the stripping effect to occur as well. Nevertheless, the analysis of the cloud itself, including the temperature of the gas in it, does suggest that it probably came from some sort of an ancient galaxy somewhere. 
Maybe this galaxy no longer exists because it was basically destroyed or absorbed by something else. Maybe it was created a long time ago. Either way, it's very unusual that this cloud still exists. And this is actually the biggest mystery about it. How is it that it's still there? For some unexplained reason, the cloud seems to maintain its own shape and most likely has done so for millions if not billions of years. And so the scientists believe that in order for such an object, such a massive huge object, not to fall apart and not to be absorbed by something else, there has to be something else involved here. And currently they believe that it's very likely extremely powerful magnetic fields. The fields that are very likely just sort of holding the object together and preventing things from falling apart too quickly and possibly even bringing more things into the cloud itself. Which of course makes this one of the most eerie and most unusual objects discovered. Because the way it looks right now is as if someone took a galaxy, stripped all of the stars and obviously planets out of it, then most likely also removing black holes and neutron stars and so on, then just left gas kind of moving around without anything really keeping it together, with the magnetic field then sort of doing the job of keeping the object whole. Now that's a very unusual, very interesting information. Although there are actually signs of some stars being present and being formed as well, simply based on the emissions, specifically various hydrogen emissions, that the scientists were able to detect. And so one way of imagining what this probably all looks like on the inside is maybe by examining one of the nebula we have inside our own galaxy, such as of course the famous Carina nebula that you see right here. So these nebula are mostly gas, but there are occasional stars on the inside as well, naturally formed by the gas itself. But there's also quite a lot of magnetic fields and magnetic lines here, and quite a lot of magnetic interaction. So imagine this, but way, way bigger, like thousands and thousands of times bigger. And so that sort of is what the scientists just discovered, although also probably not very dense, not as dense as you see here. Nevertheless, a really, really interesting discovery and a super cool cloud somewhere out there in a very famous cluster. Although unfortunately for now, that's kind of all we know about this new discovery. I'm sure there are going to be more studies and more follow-ups describing this in more detail. For now, we don't really know much else. Well, on that note, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you still haven't. Share this with someone who wants to learn about space and sciences. And maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else. Maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Either way, stay wonderful. I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, bye-bye.